<laughs> Hi, I'm Linda Cruz with the New Media Film Festival here on the red carpet, and I have a whole collection of producers for a new film. They just got back from New York. So tell me a little bit about your film and tell me who you are. Um, my name is Tony Wandell. I'm a producer on uh, Ron and Laura Tech Back America. Uh, we just got back from uh, the New York City International Film Festival where we uh, won Best Comedy. So it's, it's very exciting. It's very good to be back in L.A. with that prestigious award. And so. here. Congratulations. Oh. So tell me a little bit about who we have here. Okay, this is Carrie Harrison. This is uh, one of our associate producers. This is another producer, uh, Jay Hopkins, associate producer, um, Jen Laraya. And Jen's about to have a PA, right? <laughs> yes. Another little extra. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Associate producer. We have another one. So tell me a little bit about the film because I, I saw the trailer and it's it's very entertaining. Yes. So and it it's a, is it a spoof? <laughs> yeah, well, yes. It's a, it's a uh, mockumentary. Um, it's a uh, a political parody and uh, also known in the vernacular as a PP, a political parody. Imagine taking Ron and Laura, facing them with the Christian right. They may or may not have a gay son. We're not going to spoil anything. And all the monkey shines, machinations, and Machiavellian, and if I could quadruply alliterate, I would, but that's pretty much what goes on here. It is a circus of craziness, and it just won Best Comedy at the uh, New York New Festival. York. Yeah, New York yeah. Uh, City International Film Festival. That's and you've right. got Jim J. Bullock. You've got all kinds of names in there, including, if I understand correctly, one of your friends is in it. Sherry Goldner, I saw that in the trailer. I was very impressed. But you have a huge collection of people in there, uh, some of them playing themselves. Yes. So tell me about some of the ac actors in there. Uh, we do. Ha we have uh, a cameo uh, uh, by an Academy Award nominee, Sally Kirkland. Uh, we also have Irene Bedard starring in a starring role. She is actually the voice and likeness of uh, Disney's uh, Pocahontas. Um, who else, Carrie? Am oh. I leaving out anybody else? Yeah, we, we're leaving out so many, but you don't want to really run a credit roll because it could take 25 minutes. The point is, if you want fast action roller coaster ride laughing, the kind that makes you piddle in your drawers, <laughs> then this is the kind of movie for you. And the fact that it's digitally available so anybody can see it anywhere at any time is the real genius of this. Because when it comes to telling a story like this that has an impactful message for about 10% of humankind, I mean, it's got that gay focus on there, and we figure that's 10%. There's 7.3 billion people on Earth, 10% of that. That's a big audience. It is, totally. And when you're poking fun at the people who would do harm to the other ones, it's Gulliver's Travel on Steroids. <laughs> So it's not at the New Media Film Festival, but it might be here next year? Are you going to submit it? Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. We will. Excellent. So we'll be able to see it next year. Where else can we see? Can we see the trailer online? What's the uh, URL for that? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, it's on YouTube. You just look up Ron and Laura Tech Back America, and also there's uh, Ron and Laura Tech Back America .com you can go to as well. Excellent. Anything else? When do you do? <laughs> Yay. Through the summer. She's talking about pregnancy, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> when is it released? That, that's the release date. <laughs> August 29th? That's my birthday. Michael Jackson was born on August 29th, too. Yeah. Hey. I always thought he would be older than me. Uh, guess I'm going to catch up. So we're good? Excellent. Thank you, everybody. So we'll see it next year for sure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.